I'm standing in a field that has earned awards for Farmers of the Year in soil and water conservation. But what's fascinating about this farm is that it actually grows GMO corn and soybeans, crops that are sometimes sprayed with glyphosate. There's a lot of misinformation around this, but the truth is this herbicide offers significant benefits. One of the key advantages is that it supports no-till farming. So this particular farm has been practicing no-till methods for over 30 years utilizing cover crops, crop testing, soil testing, crop rotation, and regenerative practices, all of which contribute to its environmental success. Herbicides like glyphosate allow farmers to produce more food on less land. By reducing the need for tilling, glyphosate helps lower greenhouse gas emissions and decreases fossil fuel consumption. In fact, no-till farming and reduced tillage cut farm equipment use by the equivalent of 558 million gallons of fuel per year, a substantial environmental benefit. It's important to recognize that the U.S. is losing three acres of farmland every minute to urban development. As land becomes more scarce, technologies like herbicides and advanced crop protection play a crucial role in increasing yields. Currently around 400 million acres of land in the U.S. are dedicated to crops. Without herbicides like glyphosate, farmers would need nearly double that, approximately 800 million acres to produce the same amount of food. That's about 42% of the total land area of the lower 48 states. This is why farmers rely on herbicides, to protect their crops, boost productivity, and preserve natural resources. By producing more on less land, farmers can minimize environmental impact, maintain biodiversity, and ensure the soil remains rich in nutrients for future generations.